And Joey's gonna feed him right now. Oh man, I'm excited. Ooh, this, <laughs> this cobra is coming at me, boy. Give him some exercise. Look at him move, look at him move. They're so fast when they really want something. It'll be his first time eating the pinky mice on camera together, guys. Here we go. Hey, Cherokee. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, how are you? Guys, we're out here, Slayers. Gonna be feeding the snappers today. I'm so excited. We're gonna feed this big boy. Look at the size of this one. Absolutely insane, the size of that one. And we're gonna feed the little ones as well. Check it out. Can I feed something? Can you feed something? Yeah. Of course. What do you wanna feed? Uh, did the yellow anaconda eat yet? Uh, no, no, you can feed that one. I was actually gonna plan on feeding that right now. All right, cool. So guys, it'll be my first time feeding the yellow anaconda. I'm excited, my friend, I'm excited. Okay, so he is in the back of the cage. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's moving. Is he? Let me yeah. see if get a good shot of him. There we go, that's the yellow anaconda right there. He is a young male, his name's Mick. And Joey's gonna feed him right now. Oh man, I'm excited. Ooh, this, <laughs> this cobra is coming at me, boy. Yeah, that's the Egyptian that I just fed him from my trail. Oh man, so I feed a rat pup or an entire big snake? Uh, you're gonna wanna feed it that small rat right there. This one right here? Yeah, the small one. All right, with the tongs, of course. Do you ever hand feed your snakes like I said I go? Uh, the non-venomous like this, but you know, do you really want to do that? He's probably going to bite you. Hmm. We'll try this one for the first time. Let's go. Wiggle it right in front of his head. A little more. Give him a little tap on the nose with it. A little tap. Gentle. Gen gentle. I have no idea where he went. Hit the earth a little bit. Wake the beast. Wake the beast. Come, child. Come, child. Come. Come feed, my child. Come feed. Let's do this. Feed so you can grow and be the mightiest anaconda in all the world. Okay. He's going for it. He wants it. And little wiggle, little wiggle, come on. He's gonna bite it and probably wrap around it. Come on. No way he's gonna do that. A little tap, a little tap on the nose. Oh! There he that was actually super calm. I didn't expect that. I thought he was gonna be a little more dramatic about it. I'm gonna let him go with that. Look at that. That's so cool, Chandler. Yeah, I wish you guys could see him a little bit better. Want to move the bowl? Yeah, you move the bowl. Move the watering bowl. I just filled it up with water, so be careful. All right, I'll move it over this way. Oh, he just let go of the mouse. Oh, he wants to bite you instead. Mm, I am a little tastier than this feeble mouse. There we go. Now he's gnawing on it. Look at that guy. That's so cool, man. That's absolutely amazing. Such a pretty color, too. Back into the cave he goes, where he feasts. That's amazing, man. How long have you had this one? I've had this anaconda for uh, under a year. Under a year? Remember, I used to work at the place called the Everglades Alligator Farm in Homestead? Yes. Well, they actually had a very, well, they still have a very large female on display, mm -hmm. and they got a male, and they bred, had a bunch of babies, and they were all sold at different facilities, and there was one left that my boss was keeping, and honestly, I was taking care of it for the whole year I worked there. So eventually I was just like, you know what, dude, just let me buy it off. Yeah. <laughs> and he cut me a good deal, so I ended up buying off Anaconda. Which what is a beautiful snake, man. I love him. He's just dragging <laughs> it under the substrate. He's like, I'm going to take this to He's like, up. mine, mine. No one will take this mouse away from me. It's mine. <laughs> and they actually don't get as big as the green anacondas. Really? How big do they get? Full grown. Yellow anacondas, a female gets larger than the male. So a female will get anywhere from 12, maybe even 14 feet. That would be monstrous. But they can get upwards to 13, 14 feet. Uh, how about Ma in captivity? In captivity? Oh, 13, 14 feet because they're oh feeding it more. They have more opportunities <laughs> to grow. And then the males are a lot smaller in the world of anacondas. So basically, uh, male yellow anaconda is only going to get around like eight, nine feet long. Oh, wow. Cool, man. What an amazing species right here, man. Of course, of course. Maybe next time you can hold him when he's not eating. All right, bro, we finished filming for your channel. Is it time to go ahead and feel for mine? Yeah. Let's make sure you take this home. And if you need more, let me know. It's a frozen thawed mouse pup. Oh, my God, guys. It's Godzilla's brother, Thanos. What a cool name, Chandler. Oh. Oh my god. He ate the, the neck. He ate the neck? Is this what I have to look forward to with my Godzilla? Oh, he's going for more. Bam! Oh. <laughs> Backbreaker. He's insane, dude. Yeah. Loves his protein. 
Oh my god, so how many times do I have to feed mine? Uh, when they're young, you can feed them about three, four times a week, and then as they get older, you give them a nice little meal, and it's about once or twice a week. Dude, this is so cool. I'm so excited to feed my guy. Yeah, let's do it, man. Perfect. The time has come to feed Grandpa Common Snapper. Where you be? Comes. Right here. He's hiding under the leaves. See him? Oh, he is part of the leaf. He is, is it coming out good on your camera? Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to give him some little pinkies. They're little, they're little oh. snacks. <laughs> you want to get a little exercise? Want to move around for it? I'm just going to drop one. Boom! Gone. Inhale. Let's even get another one. See you later. I want them to work for it a little bit, you know? Give them some exercise. Look at them move, look at them move. They're so fast when they really want something. That's how they hunt down little ducks and they grab water snakes off a bank, rip them to pieces. This is so cool, man. This. You just gently get it from right here. Come on. You can make the move. Get a little exercise. Bam! Oh, how cool is that? Gosh. He's like a croc. Once he's got the food, he just gently slides back into the water. So this is what I have to look forward to with my with Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla's gonna be like eight times bigger than this. You want it? Hand feeding this. <laughs> Let him get it. I'm not trying to get snapped. You missed it. There you go. That's insane. Nice bro. little snack because he did eat a small rat pup like two days ago. A whole oh my rat God. pup. So that's like a little snack. It's a snack and a half. You ready boy. for that? I'm ready for that. You're gonna forever. have like a whole pond set up. He's gonna walk out like a dinosaur, have his neck extended. You're gonna be hand feeding him like a crocodile. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited, bro. Thanks for that, by the way. Well, hello, Godzilla. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, buddy? You hungry? Well, Slayers, we went ahead and brought his food. That is the pinky mice that Chandler's Wildlife gave us. There you go. So let's go ahead and see if he eats. Um, I wanna go ahead and put different lighting on, but I don't wanna spook him. It'll be his first time eating the pinky mice on camera together, guys. Here we go. Come, buddy. Come. Oh! Oh my god! He's a monster! He's insane! Look at that! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Look at his claws! Tearing them apart! Oh! Oh! oh, oh. He is crazy. Hold on, buddy. Don't let go. Let's get you in the light so the boys and the girls can see that. Oh, what a monster. He is an absolute savage. All right, I'm going to let you have that. Oh, you're insane. You're insane, my dude. This light's in the way, but oh, my gosh. Here, Papa. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Strike. Strike. There you go, he ate. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Took him a little bit, but nonetheless, he ate. Now, it's a little dark because he likes to go into the shade, but let's go above. Let's go above. I don't want to spook him to make him drop it. Now, he's still a shy eater, but there it is. He smacked it, and as you guys can see, guys, he is eating and he's doing well, and he's living a, such a great life. Look at him. So go ahead and scarf down that beautiful pinky mice. Look at that. Oh, that was the initial strike right there to the right. And then he's taking the little pieces and he's going to go ahead and eat away. Oh, bite number two and three. Look at him trying to rip off the pieces with his claws. What an amazing little animal I got here. Oh my gosh. He is the absolute coolest. Look at him. Floating away. Want some more, buddy? Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at Godzilla with all the strength he has. Oh, my gosh. He's such a beast. You're amazing, my little guy. You're, you're so cool. Now that I got the lighting there, now you can see our little guy just crushing his food. Look at that. One, two. Oh! <laughs> He's amazing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I love my little guy, Godzilla. He is an absolute savage. Look at him. Crushing his food. Now, shout out to Chandler's Wildlife. Thank you, sir, for helping me get this beautiful snapping turtle as well as get me some food for him. So, look, look at this guy. Oh, my gosh. He's going crazy. He's eating. He's doing what he has to do to get his food. Look at that. What an amazing, amazing little animal. Hey, buddy. You see me looking at you? Don't you be looking at the Slayers like that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's always a blast making them for you. And I'll see you in the next Slay Venture. Booyah.